Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm Meg Turney. We've got another entry in the saga of tech giants versus the US government, and this time, it's Microsoft leading the charge. Uncle Sam and the next killer instinct, confirmed. <laughs> Yesterday, Microsoft filed a lawsuit against the Department of Justice over the number of gag orders the company has received concerning user emails and other personal documents. Apparently, it's lawsuit month. At this point, we could just start a second channel that only covers legal battles. Sue everything! The lawsuit document uh, filed in a federal court in Seattle reads, Microsoft brings this case because its customers have a right to know when the government obtains a warrant to read their emails and because Microsoft has a right to tell them. In a blog post about taking the fight to the government, Microsoft Chief Legal Officer Brad Smith wrote that this lawsuit was not the one the company takes lightly, but was nonetheless extremely important. Smith said, we believe that with rare exceptions, consumers and businesses have a right to know when the government accesses their emails or records. Yet it's becoming routine for the US government to issue orders that require email providers to keep these types of legal demands secret. We believe that this goes too far and we are asking the courts to address this situation. Smith goes on to say that yes, sometimes secrecy is important, for instance, if the knowledge of an investigation would lead to harm or give a suspect time to destroy evidence, but that's certainly not the case with how the government handles gag orders any longer. For Microsoft, these are becoming routine. Hold on to your butt, kids, for the next part. Hey According to Smith, the US government has issued 2,500 and 76 gag or secrecy orders over requests for user data, meaning that it's illegal for Microsoft to disclose the investigation to anyone. They're starting the world's largest S&M dungeon. Yes. Uh, that number, by the way, won't be including the requests for user data that Microsoft is allowed to talk about. That's just the secret ones. Yeah, of the 2,500 plus secrecy orders, 1,700 have no fixed end date, meaning that Microsoft is prohibited from telling their consumers about the request forever. And, and ever, ever and ever. And ever. To be clear, this is an extremely strong stance for security by Microsoft, mostly because of the nature of how these secrecy orders and national security letters work. Up until recently, you couldn't even tell your lawyer you'd gotten one. Ridiculous. How insane is that? A couple of weeks ago, Reddit tried to circumvent this secrecy with the use of a warrant canary in their annual transparency report. We reported on that in the know, of course. In their report, they removed an excerpt of text that had been in the previous year, stating that the government had never sent them a classified request for user data. Removing it in this year's report sent the message loud and clear that the government has secretly demanded user data from them. Even saying that Clever. much, yeah, is actually skirting the law, as the idea of warrant canaries are untested in courts, which we talked about again in our previous report. So Microsoft coming out and naming the exact number of classified requests it received in a court document isn't just a tiny bit of grandstanding, they're really trying to force the issue here. Fortunately, if anyone has the way to do it, it's Microsoft. Yes. According to the court documents, Microsoft is alleging that the US government is not only violating Microsoft's First Amendment rights to free speech about requested user data, because Microsoft is a person with rights now. Companies are people. <laughs> but also violating Fourth Amendment rights for citizens and businesses to know about government search and seizure of property. Which brings up a very key issue here and the difference between this and the whole Reddit incident. The chief point of contention in this legal dispute is cloud storage. Specifically, Microsoft is fighting against the Electronic Communications Privacy Act, or ECPA, which was enacted in 1986. That act was originally meant to protect electronic transmissions from the government. However, the Patriot Act, which I'm sure you've heard oh, of. Oh, that good old Patriot Act. Once or twice before, amended the ECPA to make it legal for the government to go after any service provider who happened to store electronic communications. It, of course, also gave them the power to tell those providers to keep the damn trap shut. Uh, prior to the Patriot Act, if the government knew you had a voice message on your phone that was super important to their investigation into the Hamburglar, like, so where the fuck is he even keeping all those hamburgers? Uh, they'd have to come physically knock your door down. Yes, even if they also knew that your cell phone provider had a copy of that message. Under the enormous amendment of the Patriot Act, the government could not only obtain that hamburger information from the cell phone provider, they could also silence the company from letting you know that any of it had happened, or any of its customers knowing that anything had happened. That damn hamburger. That damn hamburger. This used to only affect a handful of people at the time just like the Hamburglar or Ronald McDonald if he was also part of the investigator. But now many businesses have entrusted storage for email servers and other personal and corporate documents into the hands of corporations like Microsoft, 
Google, and others. It's the cloud. Yeah. So now if the government wants to investigate the hamburglar, all they have to do is go to Microsoft, who could be holding all of the emails for all of McDonald's. Then they search all of McDonald's emails without McDonald's or you ever knowing. I'm getting hungry. I know. Uh, we're now getting to the inception levels of need to know, and all of this is protected by the broad powers of the Patriot Act. Now Microsoft is trying to take the matter to the courts to see if they can help force a decision that changes the law. And this has pretty huge implications for privacy, considering the fundamental shift that's occurred when it comes to private storage. Our personal documents aren't just on physical hard drives in our homes anymore, where they'd be private. They're being held by a number of companies who can be ordered not to tell you if Uncle Sam comes knocking. Smith spoke more about Microsoft's secret legal battles over business customer data in the past in a blog post, writing, in some cases we've convinced the government to redirect its requests to our business customers. In other cases, we've litigated the issue, and in one recent situation, the government argued that we should be held in contempt for refusing to turn over email until a court ruled on the secrecy issue. With all these recent and very public spats between tech companies and the government over privacy, it seems that the issue of privacy may soon come to a head. Uh, this all comes on the heels of a new bill in Washington that would basically force any company to comply with a court order for encrypted data. The Compliance with Court Orders Act of 2016 is a brand new bill drafted by U.S. Senators in response to the recent Apple FBI Bat, fight, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. In it, the bill asserts that companies must provide intelligible data, meaning unencrypted data, because they don't even know what that word means, apparently, uh, when asked for it. Uh, Joseph Lorenzo Hall, chief technologist at the Center for Democracy and Technology, says that this new bill basically outlaws end-to-end -end encryption. Who needs privacy anyway? Why not? While many don't expect this kind of completely ignorant bill to make it to law, it does highlight the growing need for the definition of privacy, security, and the protection of encryption. And interestingly enough, tech companies are really the ones leading the charge here. Although, to be fair, they were perfectly content being quiet about it until everyone found out that they were participating. It's only been the last few years that they've started making a bigger showing of their privacy efforts. Yeah, so for whatever reason, it is happening now. The hope is that even in the face of some of these ludicrous, more dangerous proposals, real actual change gets implemented that everyone can adhere to going forward and that it doesn't end encryption. <laughs> As we reported in the story about Reddit's gag order by the US government, it's happened before. Back in 2013, a judge ruled the broad sweeping powers of US secrecy orders to be unconstitutional. The government is, of course, appealing, but hey, that means Microsoft definitely stands a chance in court with its newest lawsuit. Yeah, after that, the government will just have to go back to getting information from Internet Explorer because, come on, nobody's info was private there. Too soon. All right, people. Blue. <sighs> what, what do you guys think of Microsoft's battle with the Justice Department? Do they stand a chance? And also, why do people hate encryption so much? Let us know in the comments down below. And for future Killer Instinct matches between Uncle Sam and just about everybody, apparently, like this video and subscribe to The Know. You know what I don't understand is the argument people have, they say, if you don't have anything to hide, then why would you mind? Dude, do you want people sending you nudes? Because if they don't feel secure that their nudes are secret, they're not going to take nudes. I have so much to hide. I don't know why I'm scratching my stomach. I was wondering about that. I was it like, just like I was itched, like, but then it kept just going. Meg, what do you have to hide? It's a baby up in my sternum.